Welcome back Year 11 and thanks for returning to another revision video. So far we have tackled the first three questions in Section A of Paper 1, which have focused on responding to the extract you were shown in the exam. The next two questions will focus on your wider understanding of industries, audiences and context in relation to TV. So let's have a look at what those will require you to do. Question 4 of Paper 1 is a knowledge and understanding question, which is worth 5 marks. It will focus on issues related to industry and audience and it is important to remember that you will not be asked to analyse anything. So unlike the previous questions, your answer will not need to use evidence from the clip. Alright, that's enough. Look, we're all very impressed. Now for this video, we will not focus so much on the factual information that you need to know in order to answer this question, as that can be found in the PowerPoints linked in the description, which are the same ones we use to help us answer question 3. Instead, what we will do is look at some exemplar questions and focus on how to answer each one. Unfortunately, there is no set structure for this question and it could ask you any combination of questions, but essentially if you revise over all of the information in the PowerPoints, you should be able to answer any question that is thrown at you. And it is also worth remembering that you are only given this much space. It should only take you about five minutes to write out your response. So two accurate paragraphs that answer the question will be enough to gain those full marks. I knew that. So let's start with our first example question, which will focus on audience. Explain the audience appeals of the Avengers. Now, if we break the question down, you can see that there are some key elements to it that we must consider. First off, we have the term explain, which means you must provide accurate factual information alongside examples. The question also clearly refers to the Avengers, so of course you must ensure your examples are from that program and not cuffs. <coughs> The main part of the question, audience appeals, is essentially asking you, why do audiences watch the program? Whenever a question includes the word appeal, you should automatically start considering the reasons in relation to the uses and gratifications theory. Now take a pause here and revise over the PowerPoint called Avengers Revision. At the end, you will see a detailed breakdown of all of the audience appeals of the program. You only need to choose two or three in order to write a decent answer. Follow the instruction. To write out your response, you could use the P technique to get you started. So firstly, I would write a point to suggest which appeal from the uses and gratification theory audiences are likely to get from the Avengers. So I could say, one of the appeals of the Avengers is that it offers audiences an opportunity to personally identify with the characters. Next, I would support my point with evidence from the program, which can be from any part of the episode, not just the clip that you are shown in the exam. So this is what my evidence sentence would look like. Emma Peel is an independent and courageous young woman who is equal to Steve. For example, in the episode of The Town of No Return, Peel is a skilled fencer who is able to battle with Steed and hold her own. Finally, I would then explain how my evidence suggests that this would be appealing to audiences. So my explanation sentence would look like, Young women in the 1960s would find Emma Peel inspirational, as during this era, women were stereotypically seen as the weaker sex, with lower status in comparison to men. So it would be appealing to them that they could identify with her traits and consider her a role model. So essentially, that would be my paragraph. I would then move on to write in a second paragraph highlighting a different appeal. I have written a full response to this question and linked in the description so you can see what this would look like. Whoa! So let's move on to another question, this time focusing on industry. Explain the impact of technology on the television industry. So again here we have the term explain, meaning accurate factual information alongside examples. Notice how the question doesn't refer to a specific program as this is a question about your broader knowledge of the TV industry in general. The main part of the question is asking you about the impact of technology, i.e. how has technology changed the way we consume television? So topics you would want to focus on in this question could include things like convergence, streaming and second screening. So on to my example paragraph. Technology has had a huge impact on the television industry in the way that audiences can access content in a wide variety of ways due to technological convergence. For example, audiences are now able to stream TV content on demand via apps such as the BBC iPlayer, which are compatible with laptops, smart TVs, smartphones and iPads, at a time that it's convenient for them. This is known as time shifting. 
This has made TV viewing more convenient for audiences and has also changed the way that TV networks release content as it is now standard practice to release an entire show in one go which audiences can binge watch without having to wait for the next episode. Now let's look for a minute back at that response and consider the key terms that I have used. Technological convergence, time shifting, content, stream and binge watching. This demonstrates my understanding of the relevant media knowledge which will achieve high marks. Just remember not to overuse media terminology, only use it where it's relevant and most importantly only use terms you understand because you will be marked on the accuracy of your answer. Words are in my not so humble opinion our most inexhaustible source of magic. Again you can find my full response in the description. Another industry question might look something like this. Describe the ways that television programs are funded. This question is slightly different in that we are being asked to describe, which means that we need to focus mainly on providing the correct factual information in detail. As with all responses, the ones that gain higher marks are the ones that provide examples. So here's one of my paragraphs. One of the ways in which TV programs are funded is by the public. The BBC is a public service broadcaster which is funded by the TV licence and is paid for by every member of the British public who watches live TV at home. This type of funding means that the BBC has a duty to provide a wide range of diverse content that appeals to mass audiences as they must satisfy the public who are paying for it. In fact, the BBC's mission statement is that they must inform, educate and entertain. The key words I've used here are public service broadcaster, TV license, diverse content, mass audiences and mission statement. My next paragraph would move on to discussing the way that ITV receives funding through advertising and that this affects content in terms of bigger budgets and adverts being shown during the interval. So those are three example of questions and I hope that they have helped you to understand how to approach question four. Obviously we can't cover all of the possible questions in one video, but here is a list of some more practice questions that you might want to try out on your own. Explain how scheduling helps TV channels to target their audiences. Explain the role of Ofcom in television regulation. Describe the ways that the television industry has changed in the past 50 years. Describe the audience appeals of cuffs. Describe what is meant by public service broadcasting. Use the BBC as an example in your answer. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. So tips for revision include revising over the issues related to media industries and audiences, including the key media terms that you need to know, attempting the practice questions in this PowerPoint, and practicing writing out your responses by timing yourself, giving yourself five minutes in total. It's all about timing. It's like the man said, life is all about timing. So that's question four. In the next episode, we will be moving on to question five, which is the final question in section B. It will focus on your knowledge and understanding of social and cultural context surrounding both Cuffs and the Avengers, which are detailed in the PowerPoint linked in the description. So get reading over that before moving on. See you in a bit.